I just wanted to jump on here for a second and say hi to y'all. I haven't talked to y'all in a couple days, and I do apologize just starting out and everything. Oh, I've been kind of busy. Um just doing things around the house and uh, tweaked my back. I uh, had some pretty cramping pains in between my shoulder blades. When you're disabled, it um, happens very easily. It can just happen in your sleep and don't know how you do it. Yeah, if you notice, I'm in my car. Um, come to pick my sister and my daughter up from the airport. And it is, um, car ride sometimes can be a trip for me. Can start hurting my legs and my butt bone, for say. But hey, one of those things. I told you that this will be an insight of how people live with disabilities and how we have to live with it and deal with things and this is one of those issues that we have to look at also another thing about me guys is if you listen to me I don't exactly pronunciate my words properly it is because I'm also partially deaf I do have hearing aids as a very small child I was deaf as a child, they had to go in and surgically clean my ears out. And um, I regained my hearing through that. And as an adult, I've had to go into hearing aids. And since I've been in hearing aids, I believe it's been for the past three, four years now that um, my hearing has steadily dropped down. Which it's not a good thing, but hey, life goes on. I will deal with that. I will continue to move forward, and I will continue not to let it get me down. That's one thing you have to do with disabilities. You cannot let it get you down. One person that has taught me greatly about this is my middle daughter. She has her own life struggles as a teenager. She has overcome so much in her life that anybody that says that they have had so much to overcome, I just laugh at them. Looking at not only my middle daughter, but also my youngest daughter, I just laugh at them. I'm like, how can you even compare or even begin to talk about overcoming stuff when we have children out here that have overcome more in their short lifetime and have won and you don't even compare to this. So be grateful for what you have. Thank the good Lord above that you're here. That is one thing that we have to be grateful for. Yes, it might take me three days to cut my yard, constantly stopping and starting. After weed eating, I might feel like my arms are just vibrating all over and my hands are numb and my arms are numb from holding the weed eater. But I don't let it get me down. You shouldn't let anything in life get you down, regardless what anybody says. Whatever life throws at you. I had a good career going on. I retired from truck driving to be at home with my family. When my youngest daughter was born, my only regret is I didn't do it sooner. And turn around, I went to selling cars. Was I the best at it? No. Could I go with, go home at night and sleep, honestly sleep, and have a sound mind that I did a good job and treated people fairly? 
Yes. Did I make a lot of money? No, I still struggled with bills. But you know what? My customers remembered me. And that gave me a good feeling because they remembered me. They sent their friends in to me. That's what makes you feel good. When you can say, I did a good thing. That's how you know you can overcome any obstacle. Like when this happened to me, going on disability. Hey, that's fine. Great. Yeah, it got to me. The missus looked at me and said, okay, you've had your moment. Get up off your butt. Don't let it keep you down. Let's go forward. Yes, ma'am. That's exactly what I did. I did what I could. Don't let it treat you as if something truly went wrong. You cannot do that. Regardless what somebody throws at you, regardless what happens in your life, make the best of it. I promise you, if you can sleep at night knowing you did the best thing you could, the best that you could, and you treated the people the best you could, That's what's going to matter. Hey, God bless you. Love you. Thank you. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that like button down bottom. Treat each other with respect. It's going to get you a long way. Remember that. See you on the next video. Bye.